What's go? Hello. What's going on, guys? Lone Driver Mike again, bringing you another video. Guys, what's up? You know what? Today is fucking Mc. What do they call, What do they say? Uber Eats. It's Mc Mc Delivery Day. It's it's McDonald's Delivery Day or some shit. And this is funny, you know. It, it's like I don't know what what the deal is. They're they're giving like free McDonald's or you know. I think they do this every year around the same time. They like give out like it's either free delivery or free McDonald's or it's like delivery day. It's like make delivery day or some weird shit. Like every day it's like promotion for like people ordering McDonald's off Uber Eats. And they said I get a bonus. It, it and they say I get a bonus for every for every three offers I do, I get six dollars. So basically it's like two dollars per delivery bonus extra on top of my pay plus my tip so it's basically like two dollars extra per delivery which is not bad but i have to do three orders so i have to do like three or six or nine or twelve so i have to make an uh, uh i have to make it an odd number you know but three six nine twelve fifteen you know and the so the promotion tonight is only from like five to midnight i think so that's not too bad but you know, I don't know how busy it's gonna be. You know, and then they also send the uh, they also send the message to every driver or every you know every Uber Eats driver that you know, and then even Uber drivers, I think. So who knows? There might be you know hell of fucking too many drivers out, and you're not gonna get enough orders. But Uber Eats is pretty busy. I'm not gonna lie, but it's not that busy. Like DoorDash is like ting 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 ting. All you know, you're getting orders left and right. And it doesn't matter. It doesn't mean you're going to accept them, but, you know, you can see that DoorDash is clearly, you know, really good and really busy all the time. But Uber Eats, you know, Uber Eats can be busy at times. I'm not going to lie. Um, you know, it just depends. But, yeah, there's it's delivery day for McDonald's Uber Eats, so there's going to be a promotion. So I'm just reporting it, you know, so I don't know. I think it's going to be pretty good. They're offering me $2 extra per delivery for every three for every uh, three orders that I do. So that's six dollars bonus for every three orders I do. So that's not too bad when you think about it. Um, from what I read is it doesn't have to be McDonald's orders. It can be any Uber Eats order that I, as long as I complete it, pick up and drop off and I, and the customer gets her food, it's, I still qualify for that bonus, that Uber Eats bonus tonight, the McDelivery bonus tonight from five to midnight. So. You know, we'll, we'll see how it goes. It might be pretty good. Shit, I might make a lot of money on Uber Eats, but, you know, with Uber Eats, you know, with a tip, you know, tip's not required. But recently, I've been getting a lot of tips, and I don't know if it's because I've been more picky on Uber Eats, but almost every customer's tipping me now. I don't know if it's because of my haircut. Like, I really don't know what it is. I really don't know what, like, if they change, like, the tip option or the the tipping you know the tip option or maybe they remind the customer to tip now like I don't know I'm not sure what it is but I've seen an increase in tips and uh, you know I've just seen a really big in increase in tips so that's a good thing so don't don't delete your uber eats app don't don't uh, don't can't don't don't delete uber eats don't uh, cancel your uber eats account because there's still money to be made. I mean, just think about it. You know, with DoorDash's new pay model coming out and some people are reporting it's bullshit, you know, people are reporting that, you know, they're only getting two to four dollars per order. I mean, that's some bullshit. I mean, at least with Uber Eats, you know, the minimum I've seen is like four dollars delivery pay, and plus they give you per mile, per minute kind of thing. So it can be high as you know, low as four dollars to like you know it can be pretty high especially if there's a boost or a quest or something like something like that but they've taken away my boost and quest so I don't even get um, I used to get like you know I used to get money I used to get like basically a bonus during peak times like 11 to 2 and then like 5 to 9 and basically I would get like 1.5 times so I would get like instead of getting like four dollars I'd get six dollars plus tip and then I would get quest so basically it's like do like 20 orders and you get like $40 or if you do like 50 orders and you get like a $100 bonus 
So I was qual I was doing that. I was doing pretty good on Uber Eats for a while, and then they they got rid of that. But now it seems like they're encouraging customers to tip now, because I've seen an increase in tips. So, you know, I I'm doing pretty good. Like, you know, there there'll be a few days where I'm like averaging ten dollars per order with Uber Eats, and so you know, I gotta walk, but. I'm not going to interrupt my video for that shit, you know. But anyways, yeah, so I've seen as high as like $10 per order with Uber Eats average, like with delivery pay plus my tip. So a lot of people are tipping, so it's, you know, I don't really need the boost anymore or the quest. So I think what Uber Eats is doing is they're just either they're encouraging tipping now or they are reminding the customer to tip. Or maybe sending out an email saying, "Hey, thanks for your business. Here's your receipt. But hey, by the way, before you, you know, before you go to sleep or after you finish your order, you know, do you mind tipping and rating the guy and blah blah blah, you know? So that's what probably is going on. I mean, they're not going to tell the customer like you must tip because it's not required, but they're probably probably encouraging it. Like, hey, you know, how was your driver? Add a tip if you want." Um, don't forget to rate and close out your order. You know, so that's probably what it is because I've seen an increase in tips. I don't know what it is. So that's the only thing I can think of. And now also, I forgot to tell you guys, with Uber Eats, they, the customer can tip before or after the order. So I think that's what's helping out also. That could be it also. So it could, it could be a combination of things. Could be because, you know, Uber Eats, they changed the app a little bit. They can tip before or after the order, and maybe they're encouraging the customer to tip. So that's that has that has led to an increase in tips. So that's good. So yeah, I just wanted to report on on Uber Eats tonight, and and how, you know how I've been doing on Uber Eats because I've been doing pretty good. You know, I mean it's replacing DoorDash easily, so I'm not I'm not crying over DoorDash just because the pay is crap and. I just posted a video before this video about how DoorDash is, you know, I made like two videos on DoorDash's new pay model and how, you know, how the pay is now and and I did DoorDash last night but the pay wasn't updated. It was still $6 per delivery. So, yeah, Sacramento's Sacramento DoorDash, they haven't updated the pay, but in other cities like uh, I believe Milwaukee um Denver, Colorado. So like certain cities they they did change the pay, but in Sacramento they left it alone. So, you know what? I'm I'm just, I'm just tired of DoorDash's bullshit all the time. You know, it's like they say one thing, then they do something else. Then, you know, drivers are getting screwed out of their delivery pay, and then a rumor goes around that they're stealing tips and my personal opinion about that is, you know, they I don't think they were stealing tips. I just think that you know, because the since the delivery pay used to be five dollars per order, and then they changed it, now it's only a dollar per order. Then yeah, it's like we're getting less money. But that was the delivery pay; it wasn't the tip. But you know what? At this point, it's like believe what you want. I mean, it's like you know, I don't judge people, but yeah, DoorDash is just you know, it's one of the worst delivery apps. I know they're one of the busiest, but you know, it's like they're screwing they're screwing us out of our money and. Uh, you know the bonuses too and, and different things like that and I, I'm just tired of it man you know and then they they set up this rating system you know and it's it, it's just like it gets people stressed out sometimes I mean like with caviar Grubhub there's like no rating system and then with caviar no oh, yeah with caviar Grubhub I don't have no rating so I don't really worry about it I'm not stressed out about it that Uber Eats has kind of like a rating system, but it's only a thumbs up or thumbs down, and that's all it is. They used to have acceptance rate and completion rate and that kind of stuff and all that, but all it is now, it's a, it, it, the customer can give you give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. So, you know, it, if, the, if the food got there on time and it was fresh and hot, nothing was missing, you know, most likely you're going to get a thumbs up. But even if something's missing, you're not going to get a thumbs down, like, you know, most likely, you know. So, and then as long as you have 85% of people that that rated you thumbs up, as, as long as it's 85% th thumbs up, 
then you're, you're fine. You can't get fired. You can't get, you know, messed up for that. So anyways, yeah, so we'll see how Uber Eats does tonight. I hope the bonuses are, you know, I mean, I already told you the bonuses. It's $6 for every three orders I do. So it's about $2 per delivery plus tip plus delivery pay. So I think it's going to be pretty good. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, Uber Eats is good, guys. Don't don't delete your Uber Eats app. Um, you know, I know sometimes the pay is low, but I, I do believe Uber Eats is better than DoorDash now because, you know, I mean, with the new pay model, I've been hearing rumors that it's better, but, you know, I haven't seen a difference because I'm in Sacramento. So at first hand, I cannot tell you that it's better, but I've seen reports that, you know, the delivery pays like from two to seven dollars per delivery average, like maybe like three to four dollars plus tip. So, you know, but in Sacramento, they have not changed the pay yet. So, you know, I, I, I don't care. DoorDash, is, you know, DoorDash has pissed me off so many times that, you know, with the orders and waiting and the customers, like, the DoorDash customers are the worst. Like, I never have issues with Uber Eats customers, Caviar customers, or Grubhub customers. It's always fucking DoorDash. And, and what I don't like about DoorDash, too, is that the customer is able to call us, like, hours later after the delivery is delivered. And I have this random phone number that I don't have in my contacts calling me. And sometimes I pick it up, sometimes I ignore it because it's a lot of scammers or it's a crazy ex-girlfriend or, or whatever, whoever, you know. People calling about student loans and it's like, so sometimes I don't pick it up. But one time I picked it up and it was from, from a DoorDash customer like from, from like five hours earlier. They're like, where's my Taco Bell? Or no, they said it was a, it was a Jack in the Box. Like, where's my Jack in the Box? I'm like, and I was like shaking my head. I'm like... I haven't took it no Jack in the Box recently, so what are you talking about? And she's like, oh yeah, this morning. I was like, that was like at 9 in the morning. That was like five hours ago. All right, you didn't answer your door. I reported you as not, as a no-show. And she got all pissed, and I'm like, how did, how did you call me? I was getting pissed too. I'm like, how were you able to call me, man? This has already been resolved a long time ago. And she was cussing at me. I'm like, are you serious? So I was pissed, man. DoorDash needs to change that. They should not have the customer, you know, if they have any problems, the only number they need to call is DoorDash support. That's it. They don't need to call me. Like, it's done with. You weren't at your house, and you know what I mean? You didn't answer my phone calls or my text message. I started the timer for five minutes. And if you don't arrive, your order gets canceled. That's just how it is. So that's another thing I don't like about DoorDash. But anyways, guys, I just wanted to report on different things, you know, DoorDash and, you know, Uber Eats. You know, there's a bonus tonight. But anyways, guys, thanks for your support. Please like, comment, subscribe, comment below, share the video if you want to. And that's all I've got to say. All right, guys, thanks. Thank you so much, and see you next time. All right, peace out.